What's going on guys? Uh, it's been a pretty good while since I hopped on here to kind of give y'all updates of what's going on with uh, the G14 ride. Uh, today is April the 19th and uh, it's actually the first day I've been able to even get out here and piddle with it since the last race we ran back in March, I believe the end of March. So uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna try to make the race on the 22nd. Uh, I'm really glad to get out here and thrash on this thing and uh, try to try to get all pieced back together if we're going to make that race. Uh, hopefully we will. If we don't, I think Dad's going to be able to make it. Uh, we'll be able to at least go and uh, help him. Here's kind of what we're looking at. We got our completely tore apart right now. We got all the body panels over here. Had to uh, beat some back straight. It's not real pretty, but it, it works. Um, so we got that, got the doors, all that good stuff, uh, completely destroyed our, our nose piece here. So we got that old one there, I'm gonna take it, spray it off, and go back on with it. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I found that did concern me with the car, and y'all pay no attention to my, my shop here, it is a complete mess. Got stuff everywhere, I guess what you get when you got a bunch of kids is the brake wear here. We got one side that the pads are fairly new and the other side, I mean, it's completely shredded off up top. I'm hoping that the pad itself gave away and it's not something to do with my, my caliber being lined up incorrectly, but I mean, it does kind of appear looking down on it, that caliber where it mounts right here may be, may be bent. We're gonna take it off and we're gonna uh, put some new pads on it anyway. Check everything out. I did pull my axle out from uh, from this side where I hit that wall, axle came out clean. Uh, it doesn't appear to have any, any bended uh, on the axle tube or nothing like that. I don't, I don't think it's bent, so I think we're okay there. Uh, I was able to straighten this right here back out with my Spring bucket went. Um, again, I've inspected all of this, my uppers, my lower, and everything. I mean, nothing appears to be bent. All the steering appears to be good. So, anyhow, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get on the brakes first. Uh, try to get them changed. After we get them changed, uh, we're going to start going back with the body. Uh, still got a couple panels over here. I got to beat back straight, but man, it won't take no time. All right, guys, let's get to it. One thing I would suggest anybody to invest in that I wish I did is some impacts because doing everything by hand will wear you out. But when that's all you got, that's pretty much what you gotta do it with. So make you appreciate it a little more too. Let's 
Yeah, we certainly got some uneven wear going on here. I'm joking. Y'all can see that. That's not uh that's not ideal. So we definitely uh we gotta check our, our line up here because that's not that's not what you want at all. You can really tell them when I hold it like that. Yeah, we're not uh we're definitely not going through brakes the way we should be. Alright, we're over here to this other side. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna take these off. Can I see what we're working with? I'm afraid this right here ain't lined up either. We'll find out. Which could be some of our issues. <clears throat> we noticed uh that last race we had a caliber wanna want to lock up. Actually this caliber right here. But I mean if the brakes ain't wearing evenly, you're putting them in a bind. That that could very well be why the calibers wanna lock up, so Yeah, these are a little better, but they're still not not wearing wearing properly. I mean, you can no, these ain't these ain't no better. We're definitely going to to do something about this, as you can tell. I mean, it's we're going to, have to get that that looked at and try to get that that resolved because that's no good. Yeah, that's no good at all. get these kind of marked on there. I know I ain't got no brake pads in it for anybody starts commenting. Why are you putting stuff on without brake pads? Well, I'm not worried about brake pads right now. Right now I'm just trying to get everything to snug back up because I know myself and I will lose it if I do not snug it back up. So that's why I'm snugging it back up. And I'm not a welder at all so I am uh, going to take this probably get up with uh, Jason Bird at Backyard Race Cars, and I believe I'm going to take this car there to him, and let him kind of look at this and try to try to figure out what we need to do as far as getting uh, our brakes and everything to wear equally. I think I think the uh, I mean I can look at it right here. The issue is. The mount that's on this rear end is not straight. I mean, we're we're setting we're setting crooked on it. That thing needs to come in towards me a good quarter inch, probably. Let's go get this other side. All right, guys. I guess then we ain't gonna be able to do the brake job right now. We're gonna go ahead and start beating out that sheet metal. It still needs to be beat out. Uh, but y'all are probably wondering why I got torqued. Well, I don't like laying my metal straight on this concrete because when I do, you start hitting on with a hammer and you'll just leave all kind of little scrapes and scratches all in that sheet metal. It just really makes it look like crap. I mean, if I can keep my stuff, you know, looking decent by at least two small things like this, I will. I'm going to make it look bad enough to come race day whenever I get ran over or run over somebody. So, I like to lay some talk down. Kind of gives me a clean surface to work on. And, uh, let me go get these parts and start beating them out. We've really been blessed this year and, uh, been able to kind of keep our panels pretty clean and pretty straight. We definitely, uh, we started running at a different track than we, than we did last season. Last season we ran at Thunder Valley and uh, the boys at Columbus are a different caliber of driver 
than what you experience at Thunder Valley. So you can kind of keep your car clean running with, with guys of that caliber. You go up there to Thunder Valley, you're just going to get beat to death. So. Yeah, we, we ain't trying to reinvent the wheel out here. That's how straight we get this stuff. I say it looks pretty good. All right, guys, we're gonna go and uh, <clears throat> we're going to start putting putting some of these panels um, back on the car. We got them beat up. Been out about as straight as we're gonna be able to do it. Uh, my wife is actually off today, and the little one has stayed home from daycare, so I think she's in there taking a nap. And I quickly got told by her. She sent me a text message said, "If I don't quit banging on stuff, she's gonna knock the whole car off the jack stand." So I take that as I probably should stop beating on panels and start hanging them. guys if uh you haven't already made the swap over to screw on bodies then believe me you need to go ahead and do it that's the best thing we ever did hey makes getting that body back on a whole hell of a lot easier than having to pump rid everything that side on. And this other side, we don't have the luxury of the uh, bolt on body. This other side is just pop rivets. But <clears throat> Nonetheless, we'll get it on too. Ain't nothing but, nothing but thing. And guess what guys, we go ahead old school. Hand it. I don't know how in the hell anybody built an entire body with a hand rivet gun, but I know back in the day that's all they had. So they made it work. But I cannot imagine building an entire body. It's not for me, for sure. I don't think I'd enjoy that too much. Yes. 
We got them back out. I'm going to tell you all, one of the better things about having Pawpaw on your side is he already has about every damn tool you could have. So whenever he comes across something he knows you don't, he'll buy it, he'll give it to you. Shout out to Pawpaw for this. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Right, guys that's gonna about do it for this video uh, like I said we got the body back mounted all we gotta do now is get the bracing mounted down there that ain't gonna take no time uh, before we run again we're definitely gonna take the car over to bird and uh, let him look over it um, I don't know what's going on with the rear end back here with the brakes I mean it, uh, it appears to me that the uh, the mounts that are on it on the axle tips just ain't lined up correctly and i'm no uh i'm no welder so i'd rather somebody who knows what the hell they're doing uh, take that off and and take care of that so but anyhow guys uh we'll jump back on here whenever we get back at it after we get over to birds and we'll keep y'all updated thanks for watching remember like and subscribe and share to all your friends we need as many